Parts of eastern Kentucky are still recovering after devastating floodings in July 2022, but a group of researchers at the University of Kentucky are now working to change that narrative. On Tuesday, UK Public Relations Officer Lindsay Travis, along with researcher Kenton Cena, talked about how to plan against devastating numbers such as 45 Kentuckians killed in four days' time in 2022. Cena, co-principal investigator and senior lecturer at UK's Lewis Honors College, spoke Tuesday to offer an overview. We're also specifically particularly interested in how small headwater streams, um, we have several of those at Robinson Forest, how small headwater streams contribute to uh, more significant downstream flooding. Um, and this is uh, certainly in the context of um, the flooding of a couple years ago in eastern Kentucky, as well as uh, flooding that's happening, I mean, continuing to happen across Appalachia, uh, for example, with Hurricane Helene just um, uh, in the last couple of weeks. Um, so we're particularly interested in these, um, these steep uh, Appalachian, kind of central Appalachian region, uh, where we've got these small headwater streams um, that, you know, uh, are not well understood, uh, kind of hydrologically, how they function. Journey into the extraordinary hideaway novelties, smoke and vape, the finest selection of vapes, glass, edibles, and more, Cole Run Caney and South Williamson. The project, known as the Flooding and Appalachian Streams and Headwaters Initiative, has funding for four years, and Travis and Cena plan to use the time wisely. Um, and then really the long-term goal of, of our project is to um, connect that uh, kind of hydrology and climate research with um, community engagement to uh, try to develop uh, warning systems that are really situational and place-based uh, so that um, we can ho hopefully develop some technologies that will help, help folks get out of um, get out of the of the holler essentially before a flood comes down. So you know, I th I think we can do that. I think you know we if we understand um, the environmental conditions on the ground and we can predict you know upcoming uh, rainfall, uh, we'll be able to um, give folks a, a pretty um, I think timely warning that's unique to um, their place uh, that will hopefully help them to to get out. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Sheldon Compton.